Hang on a hot second now. We haven't seen each other in forever, and this is how we kick things off? I informed you we were training. Sure, yeah, training. You didn't say a word about kicking things into overdrive like this. I have deemed as much to be necessary. And we will continue as such until you present yourself as, at bare minimum, the greatest fighter in the kingdom. The greatest what? In the where now? C come on, cut me some slack here. At least tell me what this is all about. <sighs> I heard you came bearing gifts for Maester Midas on your prior visit. Yeah, just some coffee from Earth he asked for. That shouldn't cause any trouble for things on your planet here, though. Her Highness and Nina found out. And? The two caused quite the scene before him, lamenting how unfair it was to them. Oh. They are in uproar. They call to see you again, to travel once more through the stars. Okay. Our princess is a person of import our nation cannot replace, and Nina the same. Ah. Okay, I think I know where this is going. If you're to take them with you into the stars, prove yourself here and now. Convince me I can entrust them into your hands. Bingo. Got it. I figured it was something like that. My chakram are much more swift than your cowardly feet. If you're so worried about the girls, then catch up with us, Albie. Halt, Ray. Do not presume to think you can run. Heads up, got yourself another big old stack of books from Dr. Eason. Oh, thanks. Just pop them over there. Right over where exactly? It seems like books about the thyroid and junk, so uh, I'll pop them into your endocrine system shelf. <laughs> Someone's learning their way around my library. Uh, hard not to when I'm here every day. You know, this would be a whole lot easier if we just used my gadgets from Vergulb. I'm pretty sure we agreed we wouldn't. Oh, hey, if you're hanging around, why not study with me to be a doctor? Or maybe an iatromancer? Not in my cards. I wouldn't be so sure about that. Uh, I'm just beat. Hey, Ray, coffee! Make me coffee! Really, now? It just never tastes the same when I make it. Your special brew tastes a million times better. Do you have any idea how hard it was to get that stuff past Marielle? The cup of excellence is the best coffee on Earth, period. Make sure you don't just go wasting it, Nina. Not after all that hassle. All the more reason you should make it. Oh, come on, please, pretty please. Uh, fine. One cup of joe coming right up. Mm. Ah, that's the stuff. Delicious. Mm -hmm. There goes half my stress. Only half? Mm -hmm. Huh? Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, sure. See, you'd be a great doc. I'm pretty confident nobody thinks that but you. The further we press our investigations, the more I find I have to learn. Yeah, we knew this was gonna be tough from the get-go. It is what it is. 
Tell you what, though, I'm glad to have your help. Am I more useful now than during Elena's restoration? Would you give me a break already? Without your help, we wouldn't have even had a clue on where to begin with these investigations. We're truly grateful, Midas. Especially Elena and my dad. <laughs> Yet I am rewarded with coffee beans. Yeah, I figured you'd feel that way. So I brought you this. Fresh out of a new mining shaft they discovered under Vergnus. Pretty cool, huh? Keep such precious samples out of your hands and the air. It's not as rare as you'd think. They're pulling these out by the truckload down there, so... These symbological equations, they are indeed similar. Nearly identical to the foundational systems of semiomancy we study here. We will have to meet with Malkia and pray she grant us permission to dig another tunnel here. And don't forget, we only get to poke around down there as long as we follow the rules the locals set. I need not be reminded, I don't fancy facing her wrath. But this stone will be key to our investigations as of the morn. Now then, we've idled enough. Well, back to it then. At the end of all this, we may well find that you and I share descendants and are distant cousins of the same family tree. Yeah, I need someone like you in the family like I need a centralist cousin. Oh, I got fingers crossed you never find any such link. <laughs> I may well say the same. finished. Hey there, how'd your doctor checkup go? They replaced all the jury-rigged patches with official parts. I appear to be in excellent shape once again. Oh, that's good news. They didn't give you any grief for that rush job we had to do on you back on Aster, did they? The Arnold Robotics staff were impressed. Claimed it was beyond any usual emergency hotfix. Midas seems to have near OPA level mechanical prowess. Yeah, huh. All right, how about that? Mm-hmm. I would like to clear something up, Ray. Ah, uh, okay. That's new. Don't think you've ever talked to me like this before. So, uh, what's going on here? I am suddenly reminded. On Aster 4, I found myself broken and under assault from Colonel Valange. You and Midas worked hard through the night to patch me up, yes? Y yeah But once I was back in working order and awoke you, you seemed... off. Not your usual self. Midas was there for me, in your stead. Hmm. That's good to hear. You expressed... not joy but gave only a curt acknowledgement. Did I? Uh, can't say I remember. It seemed so very unlike you that I found myself fixated on it. I spent hundreds of hours analyzing your words and speech pattern. And just now, your reaction finally gave me my answer. Uh-huh. You were... As your kind call it, jealous, yes? What? No! I believe I may have upset you by praising Midas. You wanted to rescue me all by yourself. Isn't that right? No. I, I mean, well, yeah, but not like that, exactly. You just caught me off guard, okay? I am aware, which is why I am consoling you now. To show you that I am, and always will be, your partner. No one else's.
Right then. I do believe the planetary representatives must be in a consensus by now. Good sir. Surely you see the merits in joining the Pangalactic Federation. We would hate to return today empty-handed. If you would just sign the dotted line. Lieutenant Kenny, I hear the Federation has found itself in quite the predicament of late. It's Lieutenant Colonel. This information came from... Lieutenant Colonel? The very future of the Federation seems to be at risk. Yet not a word of it was mentioned here. You understand our lack of confidence? Hmm, you may be right. Uh, Lieutenant Colonel, uh, surely none of this is related to the matter at hand. Sorry, buddy. You forgot to ask our opinion on that. What? What is the meaning of this? Allow me to introduce you to Raymond Lawrence of the planet Virgold. He's currently assisting our government in an advisory role on matters concerning these negotiations. Well, uh, and you didn't think to consult with us? And what might that have done for us? <clears throat> I gotta be honest with you. We've just about had it up to here with all these secrets you've been keeping. So why don't we start this process over again with all the actual facts laid out? What do you say, Lieutenant Kenny? Yes, I would agree. <sighs> you really saved me back there. You sure you ought to be thanking me? I mean, I just came in and busted up plans you had to add a new planet to the Federation. You did, and that's exactly what we needed. We really need to stomp out the corrupt practices Remington and his supporters put in effect. Backroom dealings, influence bought through bribes, the Federation's hands are still far from clean. Typical problematic feds. Man, I'm really starting to wish other planets would step up and start seeing through their tricks, too. Not sure there's much we can do about that. The scales of power are too heavily tipped. But if we gotta keep playing middleman, we might just end up with another planetary alliance led by Vergald instead. It ain't easy keeping organizations this big together. If the Federation falls, well, that's just another page in history. Okay then, Federation Envoy is off this way. Right then. I don't know if you heard, Ray, but I got promoted to Lieutenant Colonel. Ah, oh, moving on up in the world, huh? I could find myself an Admiral one day. So you know, if things do work out that way, if things work out what way? The whole Virgold-led planetary alliance bit. Oh, that. If I climb the ranks on this end, and you on yours... Who knows? Maybe our paths might cross again. I could think of worse. R really But don't hold your breath. I'm in this for the long haul. Oh. Sounds like we could have a deal then. And that's a promise. Promise. Say, uh, Malkia. Hmm? Uh, this isn't really, you know, all that relaxing. I imagine not. But this is all part of your training. My what now? What training? Sit still, at ease. You do far too much. Nilbeth needs all the help it can get to recover from this Scorpium tragedy, certainly. 
But if you do all the work, it weakens my position. Uh, right. You could stand to relax from time to time. This I do only out of concern for you, you see. I seek to train your work ethic out of you. I see. Uh, I'm still not sure how I feel about being seen like this, though. You are a hero of our world. And a man one day meant to be partner to the leader of all Traffin. Why, then, should you not be lavished as such? This is but the service you deserve. Yeah, huh? Do I, though? If I got accustomed to this, I'd turn into a waste of space. <laughs> Would you now? Perhaps that is for the best. Hey, I'm not kidding here. I am inclined to wonder what you might be like at your worst. Show me, what might I expect? No matter what becomes of you, I shall never turn away. Uh. Oh? That's enough for me. Oh, time to get back to work. Silly boy. Whenever you are. Right. To battle. Talk about stragglers. Glad you and I got through that in one piece. <laughs> I found it exhilarating. It is an odd sensation, feeling so connected to someone outside the continuum. It's funny, huh? You and me get along just fine, but somehow you and them don't. I suppose you can chalk that up to the limitations of Scorpion evolution. A diversion in the path they choose to follow, and my own. I take this as proof that in the end, we are still alive, and retain our humanity within our core. Guess so, huh? You may have correctly assumed I feel trepidation in fighting my comrades. But, to be honest, there are things more important to me that I wish to protect here. Well, if you ask me, this planet's worth it. Yes, it is very easy to see. Why she chose to live out her final days on this planet. Who did? I talk too much. We should make our return soon. Princess Leticia's concern is only bound to grow the longer we take here. This planet and its people will never truly be safe until the remnants of the Scorpion Centralists are eradicated. My fight goes on until then. Same here. All right, ready for another go? Yes, my friend. May we both be trustworthy guardians of this place, so dear to us. Baird. Highness? Oh, I fear I have put you through quite the ordeal during our travels. Hmm. Know that I am ever grateful. An honor, your highness. Is something wrong? I speak truthfully. Yes, I beg your pardon, your highness. I doubt not your words. But I do find myself somewhat perplexed. What with? Why... Why are the two of us finding ourselves here in Larkus once again? 
Albert, must we discuss this anew? We were to go on a short walk from the royal city, yes? Is this not short when compared to our travels through the stars? The two are hardly comparable. Uh, Albi. What? Uh, what? I quite meant what I said. I am ever grateful of you. It goes beyond our latest adventure. You have been at my side since we were but children. Th that is by my obligation as a knight to the royal family. And solely that? Well, I... I... <sighs> Look upon me. Uh, uh, Highness. Letty. Uh, uh... <sighs> I wish for nothing more than to retrace the steps we once took. To see the world now restored to peace. Just you and I, Letty and Alby. Highness? Letty. Uh, 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 Letty. Hmm. Thank you. Now, let us be off. Indeed, it has been quite the long journey. I cannot wait! Well, you would seem fit and ready for battle. Emperor Gerard. Fight? Yeah, that's a good way to put it. This is a fight my father and I spent our entire lives preparing for. <laughs> my nation's budding new semiomancers find themselves quite quite eager to learn from Osirius's newest wise man. Please, follow me, if you would. I am just beat. Welcome back. Gerard seems to be hosting a welcome banquet in your honor tonight. Shall you be in attendance? Nope, is what I want to say. But I guess going to stuff like that is important too, huh? Do try and relax, though. Consecutive six-hour lectures would tire anyone. I'm not really looking for breaks. I know that simply making medicine won't work to snuff out Helgar's disease. And I know how much investment the Empire has put in to train Iatromancers, so I need to focus my efforts here, too. My dad used to say, Neither the mind of a genius, or the pockets of a rich man, accomplish much alone. Wealth and knowledge find meaning once spread. And here we are, in the Vale Empire! taking the first steps towards eradicating the rot. This is no time to get lazy. If so you say, but recall even doctors must mind their health. I'll be okay. And if I'm not, I give you permission to take care of me. I will accept that as proof you are just fine indeed. Aww, give me a big hug to charge me up. Yes, yes, come now, time to go. Meanie! Dad, I finally made it. Nina, we must be going. Oh, coming! found me. <sighs> I thought 
thought you might be here. Might you please take care to inform someone before you make to travel? I believe our promise was that I retained complete and total freedom. Your personal liberties are guaranteed, but when you simply vanish, all the many who come searching for you arrive at my door instead. Think how I feel, forced to track you down. I'd say I like the thought. I'll make it a habit to disappear more often. Maester? Hmm. Do you regret your return to the Semiomancy Consortium? Do I look of regret? I acknowledge it was a rather forced request. While the throne stance is to reevaluate the actions of the Three Wise Men, there are those less open to new interpretations. No matter how much the world may change overnight, there will always be minds of men who choose to stay the same. Which is precisely why, whenever you leave, my father and director Malthea cannot help but be concerned. That's even better. Maester. Malthea holds the reins at the consortium and finds no lack for funds. The only one who seems to complain about their work is you. But no, I am in no regret. I simply feel trapped in the city and the castle. So I come this way when I need room to breathe, is all. Honestly, if so, you need only speak as much. Why would I do that? One of my enjoyments is seeing you so red and flustered from seeking me out. <sighs> well, I won't run now you've found me. I guess it's time to return. H hold on just one moment. I might ask you explain yourself? It is not oft I am visited by you alone. Uh, apologies for showing up unannounced, but I was in a bit of a hurry. Worry not. My whole kingdom welcomes you with open arms. I must confess it is somewhat strange to imagine you rushed, however. I will admit, I find my own actions somewhat illogical. Well then, if I may be of help, what is it that I might do for you? Well, actually... Uh, you might say I already have what I came for. Hmm. However, now I wonder. Perhaps you could provide me with some insight. Well, what on Aster is going on? Is it the Federation? Surely not the Centralist Remnants. Do you know where I might find Ray? Huh? He goes off alone quite often these days. His actions suggest he is visiting with some woman, so I thought perhaps... Right, um... No, it is perfectly acceptable if he was seeing a woman, but I think that he should not do so in secrecy, behind my back, without informing me. It is upsetting. Well, now then, Elena. Yes? It would seem to me you experience what we term jealousy. No. No, Leticia. This is not like that. You are quite endearing as so. L Leticia, please! <laughs> now, he did ask that, should you come calling. I never tell you this, you know. He... He what? He occasionally heads off for a dolly all by his lonesome. He goes simply to gaze out over the mountains. Well... I've heard from Theo and Maester Midas that men are of occasion wont to be alone. 
and seek solace in silence and seclusion. <sighs> Difficult to comprehend. Yes, truly. Lieutenant Mariel L. Kenny, you stand accused of stealing a spacefaring vessel, one of the Pan-Galactic Federation's most crucial resources, of hacking the security systems of a space station, of willful disobedience towards your superiors. What does the defendant say to these charges that have been brought forth by the plaintiff? I offer no objection. Is that so? Under normal circumstances, that alone would be deemed an admission of guilt and be subject to grave consequences. Admiral Luca Maverick, Captain Curtis Aldridge, the court now asks you to call your witness to testify of Lieutenant Kenny's innocence. Witness, please give your name and testimony. Leticia Osarius, of newly established Federation Protectorate Aster IV. I swear to speak not but the truth to prove the innocence of Lieutenant Mariel L. Kenny. <sighs> Goodness, that was quite the ordeal. Sorry for dragging you all the way out here when you're so busy for that. For a friend, oh, hardly trouble. And a protectorate though we may be, we must make use of what rights we have as part of the Federation, yes? Yeah, thanks. <sighs> right, now then. Huh? With your name cleared, you are now free to travel, yes? Let us treat ourselves to something exquisite. <laughs> now there's an idea I like. Stole ahead, expecting you here. Hmm. You certainly are full of surprises. Theo, I worried you seemed unsettled by the new position you find yourself in. Do you read minds now, too? Hmm. Care to share with me your reservations? You will hear them then? Of course, I was left unsettled. Me, Commander-in-Chief of the Tri-National Naval Exercises. In what inconceivable world is this possible? Unthinkable. Oh, now why might you think such? How could I not? <sighs> is it because you have been a traitor not only to the Kingdom, but to the Empire and Malkia as well? Yes. I grow tired of such talk, cousin, as do we all. If you ever wish to repent, you may start by seeing this position through. Am I cut out for such? You and you alone, Emperor Gerard, Malkia, and myself chose you, well aware of who and what you are. We three determined that our trust would be better placed in no other. I see. I understand. I see no other path to redemption, cousin. Lend us your hand, 
for the peace of both our kingdom and our world. So... Allow me to confide in you, as in times of old, when the burden is too much for me to bear. I suspect now I may be the one unable to bear it. Theo, we have been over this. No, no, I... I simply mean... Your royal position seems to foster a capacity of which I lack. But perhaps, at the very least, I might find in myself the confidence to serve the throne and its future queen. Indeed. Now then, if I might, the weight of the assignment still exhausts me. Might I slumber here? You may, though do not be long. land legs have you i simply never imagined the fulga might soar so swiftly i may have made certain modifications to suit my needs invigorating no it does invoke something now where are we i told you before we boarded my most prized hideaway So... Hush now. Uh... Occupy yourself with naught but the warmth of the sun's rays, the sounds of the waves, and the blue expanse before your eyes. Nothing else. Uh, right. But... I was under the impression that we were meant to discuss the future of the Trathan refugees in Osarius? All leaders need moments such as these come again you look worse yet now than when i saw you not long ago i assume you find little sleep well only because there is yet much to do few fathom both the scale and importance of what we do which again is why we must find time to rest Perhaps it is unbecoming of a mere tribal leader to offer advice to a princess. But know that the stress we carry goes on to affect those we lead. Oh, Machia. Do we not want to look back upon it all with pride? <sighs> you speak sense. Perhaps I might borrow this space. Good. I dare say I ate more than my fill. Oh, what I wouldn't give to see the look on the people of Aster's faces right now. Seeing their princess walking around town with food on her face. Enough. T'would be sufficient to simply say as much. No need to jest at my expense. Hmm. This is quite the charming planet. Right? Not to brag or nothing, but I always thought it'd be a great place to bring a princess someday. Huh. Do I sense a growing pompousness in your behavior of late? Now let me revel in getting the most famous girl in the kingdom all to myself for a bit. Very well, Ray. 
I suppose I should give thanks for such fleeting moments of freedom. Where might our next journey take us? To the Star Resort, Antonoa. It's this place Vergald has close ties with. Really something, I'll tell you. Somewhere you would like to take a princess, perchance? Uh, something like that. <laughs> I am certain I would enjoy any environ with you. Um, would you like to take me there? Uh, you bet I would. Let's mosey on. be willing should be any moment now uh yes uh i am alone yes oh. what's up ray uh, did i keep you waiting Ever so slightly. Hey, you getting enough sleep? I know you're busy and all, but you've got bags under your eyes. Have I? Oh, goodness me. It is not that I am denied the time to sleep. It was merely excitement and anticipation of our travels today, which left me sleepless through the night. <laughs> Seriously, though? Manners? Might have guessed you would laugh. <laughs> There's always time for a little fun, though, right? I'm gonna make sure today's worth missing out on all that beauty sleep. And this would be... Welcome to Star Resort Antonoa. I thoughtfully went ahead and made reservations for a special course fit for a tired princess. We are far from my home now. I am no princess here. All right then, Letty. Let's you and I buckle up and get this party started. Wonderful. 